Hey everybody, Chef Britt here with ATBBQ.com and today I'm going to show you how to make charred cranberry mostarda. So in this series, I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite holiday sides. Today we're doing charred cranberry mostarda, so the first step we need to do is char the cranberries. So I'm going to char these with a propane torch on the sheet pan. And I'm just going to go until uh, the skin starts to blacken and the fruit starts to burst open. So feel free to char these as much as you like, but you don't want to go too far because they'll start to release their own natural juices. Luckily, we've got the sheet pan to catch all of those juices. So from here, it's pretty simple. We're just combining all of our ingredients into the pot. Make sure to grab all that juice. So now I'm going to add some dried cranberries, half cup of red wine vinegar, half cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of yellow mustard seed, and then I'm also going to add the zest of an orange. And we'll just do about half of the orange. And then we'll also juice it. We'll just use the strainer to catch any of the seeds there. Now we're gonna add some extra flavor. I've got a half teaspoon of garam masala. It's an Indian spice blend that's heavy on the coriander and cumin and paprika, but it also has some underlying baking spices such as cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. So for a little zing, I'm gonna use some of this Granny's horseradish mustard. About a half of a tablespoon. All right, so today I'm cooking on the Heston Q induction burner, which is pretty fancy here with this little touch control. And I'm gonna go for about a medium high heat until it comes to a boil. I'm just gonna stir it all together here, make sure everything's evenly incorporated while it warms up. Okay, now that we're at a full boil, I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down to a simmer. We're gonna let this go ahead and cook down until the fruit starts to burst open, and then it'll be ready to go. Okay, so what I'm looking for here is that the fruit has uh, softened up to where I can really just smush it down with my spatula here, and it'll just jam itself. This doesn't take more than 10 minutes of cooking to get to this point. Let's take a bite. Wow, that is so good. The cranberries are really nice. Um, it's not overly sour. It's got a nice amount of sweetness in there, but the savoriness from the mustard seed and the granny's horseradish mustard really comes through in a nice zip zingy way. Really enjoyable. Feel free to hop on over to atbbq.com to see all of the products that we've used today. And come back next week when I'm gonna be making barbecue carrots. All things barbecue where barbecue legends are made.